Hi, this is Bob Willis with Winnie TV, and I have the opportunity of talking to a representative of a company that I've worked with many, many times in the past, and we're going to talk about uh, X-Ray and other technology. Sean, hi. Bob, great to see you. So what is the most interesting thing that's happening right now in the industry? I would say AI is uh, on everyone's kind of mindset right now from a software development point of view. I think 3D AOI is uh, really developing fast within our industry. We're finding more and more applications for that technology from what would be originally standard SMT applications, now through to back-end semiconductor, to wave inspection, through all inspection, mechanical part inspection. So the, the technology is finding lots of new avenues to really develop and provide solid measurement solutions. So you, you've talked in the past, and we've discussed in the past, the, the going more into the semiconductor side, and obviously you've been involved in those sort of technologies probably for all of the years that I visited your company. So what's the new development there? We have a new uh, wafer-based inspection machine, so primarily focused on pure silicon wafer inspection for what we would call a mid-end application. This is where the customer prints uh, solder paste direct onto the wafer, and then we take high-speed 3D measurements pre-reflow and post-reflow, and obviously optimize the process for them based on those measurement results. And what sort of size are we talking about, the actual end sphere or the solder connection? Uh, the actual deposits are about 100 microns in height, mm -hmm. so we're measuring the coplanarity of the solder paste, volume of the solder paste, height of the solder paste, all these unique measurements, three-dimensionally, at three micron lateral resolution and 0 0.1 micron height resolution. So mm, very, yeah. very precise measurements but at high speed. Is there any opportunity for uh, the, the toy that I've loved playing with uh, at your facility, the reflow side of thing? Is that, is that something that could actually be used to see uh, the process actually happening? Yeah, I think it could, uh, without a doubt. Uh, Post-reflow inspection is still a big part of our so it's a major market uh, development. Post reflow inspection, if you look at the SMT industry, 80% of the 3D, AI, 3D AOI applications are still post reflow. It's just that we're trying to, of course, push the 3D AOI solutions more pre reflow to take advantage of in process measurement where you can make a change at lower cost before mm. you've actually reflowed the product. Mm. So we're always trying to do that to convince customers to inspect early rather than later in the process. I can certainly remember 10 years ago uh, doing printing of paste onto what was in those days fine pitch uh, flip chip devices and uh, it was a real challenge A to print and then to get successful results and then do the measurements afterwards. So I can appreciate some of the work that you've had to put into developing the product. Right. So. One other question I wanted to ask you, if I may, is uh, what's the interest in you know, through-hole measurement? Because uh, a lot of AOI companies uh, kind of question the success of it, but I would have thought a lot of customers would be very interested and possibly even demand uh, looking at uh, through-hole joints with selective and with robotic soldering. Absolutely, Bob, and we do see some applications there. And, and opportunities to develop the product and provide some good measurement solutions. I think uh, you can see the clinch joint much more easily with the 3D. You can measure it. You can measure the protrusion of the pin. Uh, you can measure coplanarity. There are lots of through hole or uh, pin in hole measurements you can take three dimensionally and, and provide much more accurate results than you could in the old 2D world, which was go no go. So you can set tolerances and obviously get a much more reliable result. Now you haven't actually mentioned one of the things that obviously a lot of customers would want, which uh, is uh, topside fillet, top side. which obviously AOI can't do. Right. So obviously that's an advantage with uh, uh, either inline or offline uh, X-ray inspection. No, exactly. There are some applications where optical is just not the right solution, of course, and that being one of them. And even with 3D, we still have to have line of sight at the object we're inspecting or measuring. Although we do have angled camera capability now, so we can look orthogonally at 45 degrees, 
but with still some applications where X-ray is just a much better solution. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us for uh, this quick interview. And it was just nice to talk about football before we actually <laughs> came on air. <laughs> thank, thank you, you very much Great once again. You. Cheers. Thanks, Bob.